The Kongal dog is considered the national breed of Turkey's Kongal area. Originally, the Kongal was bred to guard animals like sheep and cattle from hungry wolves, bears, and other predators and scavengers. Have you ever seen Kongal's take on wolves? What about a bear? Join us as we look at the top 57 moments when Kongals attack the most dangerous wild animals. In this video, a wolf trespassed onto a farmer's land and came across his ferocious Kongal dog. And as you can see in the video, his beast of a dog strangled the wolf on her own without any intervention from the farmer who had no gun or any other weapon, except for a stick he didn't even use on the wolf. Pit bulls are renowned for being fearless. And you can see what I mean in this video when this pit bull doesn't back down from a fight with a huge and fearless Kangal. Thankfully, the Kangal is being held back by his owner, and the pit bull is also tied, or this could have turned ugly. Still, I don't understand why the guy with the Kangal even approached the pit bull, as if he was hoping for a fight, but thankfully the other guy had more marbles in his head and grabbed the dog from him to pull it away, before things went out of control. The wolf in this video was attacking the herd and killing the sheep until he met his match and was caught by the Kangal you see in the video. The shepherd and owner of the dog woke up to the sound of choking when he saw the wolf killing one of his sheep and instructed the dog to attack for support. The dog took control of the situation entirely and killed the wolf. When a man with his pit bull sees a Kangal that is tied, he lets his dog approach and keeps pulling him back when he feels they are too close. Why go there in the first place when you know the risk of the two dogs fighting is high? Once they engage, try separating them, especially when one is tied and the other is on a leash. It's guaranteed that one of the dogs gets hurt. Despite their imposing stature, Kangal shepherds maintain a peaceful disposition. They are often polite and caring towards their family members. However, they have strong protective instincts and might be reticent or aloof among strangers. Proper training and socialization are required to guarantee that they grow into well-behaved and dependable guardians. With a long history as capable working dogs, the Kangal Shepherd continues to excel as a loving and protective friend. And when you possess three of them, as the owner in this video does, any intruder who tries to trespass on his land faces a deadly triple threat. In this video, a Kangal is all over a pit bull, trying to pin him down, when suddenly the pit bull walks away without a problem. It's clear that these dogs are friends, and they were enjoying a short squabble the Kangal obviously won. Two huge Kangals go at it in this video, and the fight seems fair, even though one of the dogs seems to have a small edge as he mounts the other one before the two belligerents calm down. Kangal dogs, often known as Anatolian lions, are one of the world's toughest dogs. It is the dog with the most powerful jaw pressure. Wild animals such as wolves, bears, wild boars, and jackals are some of the animals this dog protects cattle and sheep from. It is one of the largest dogs on the planet. Dogo Argentinos are also powerful dogs. When they're upset, they can be aggressive and dangerous. It's a fantastic watchdog. In several nations, the Dogo Argentino is prohibited. It is frequently compared to dogs such as the American Pit Bull Terrier, Rottweiler, and Prisa Canario in terms of strength. The dogo in this video is quite small, and I don't think it would have a chance against this Kangal. What do you think? In this video, a dogo argentino and a cane corso, two powerful dogs get into an argument while a Kangal relaxes on the ground and watches them until the cane corso insults the dogo. That's when the Kangal goes ballistic and yells at the corso. The man with the Kangal and Dogo gets upset at the Corso when he's the one behind the fence, which is ludicrous. What's wrong with this guy? He keeps taking his dogs to every enclosure in the area so his dogs can bark at the other dogs. What a weird man. Thankfully, these two are tied, or they would be at each other's throats in seconds. 
They bark at each other and drool until they suddenly calm down as if they were told to and listened. The dogo in this video is much smaller than the kangal, but it doesn't stop him from pulling on his leash to get to the larger kangal. The kangal stands upright and dares the dogo to get closer, but with both dogs tied, it's impossible, which is a good thing. I must admit that this is not a very big bear, but it's still extremely impressive to see the way the kangal is taking it to the bear. The kangal is the aggressor, and the bear just wants to get out of this scuffle alive. In this amazing video, a kangal can be seen running after a bear, followed by more footage of dogs challenging bears. One-on-one -on -one dogs are no match for bears, except possibly for a few breeds such as the Kongal. But when 10 or 15 dogs gang up on a bear, they can easily scare it away. When a Kongal wakes up and walks out of his house half asleep, he is greeted by a loud dogo, which the Kongal does not appreciate. So both dogs growl and bark at each other until the Kongal hears the theme song of his favorite show and returns into his house. It seems like Kangals and Dogos can't stay away from each other. Once again, a man and his Dogo walk right in front of a house where a Kangal lives, and the Kangal doesn't appreciate the Dogo so close to his property without permission. Maybe he wants to play with the Dogo and is frustrated that he can't. When I see owners with their dogs going bananas and they still let them approach each other, it just boggles my mind. It's as if they want the dogs to get into a fight. Finally, the owner of the Kangal pulls his dog away and they leave. In this face-to-face, -face, the Kangal remains calm and the Rottweiler looks younger and feels like playing. It's the first Rottweiler I see in such great shape. He's a beauty. When the Kangal gets a little too excited, the owner pulls on the leash and leaves with his dog, and it's the best decision for the sake of both dogs. Anything can happen at a dog park, especially when a big dominant dog such as the Kangal wants to play with the other dogs. It seems like the Golden Retriever did not appreciate the Kangal getting too close to the other dogs and growled at the Kangal. That's when the Kangal lost it and attacked the Golden Retriever. The owners of the dogs were quick to react to separate the dogs and everything calmed down without any dogs being injured. These two dogs seem to be play fighting, and they're actually quite young. I don't like where they are because they seem to be in a dirty enclosure, unable to go outside. I can't say more because I do not know the circumstances and conditions they live in, but it doesn't look good. It's great that they're having fun though. When a stray Kangal suddenly went to visit a farm with many Kangals, things became complicated for the owners. They immediately intervened when a fight broke out and rescued the stray Kangal. The dog survived but was slightly injured. When a Kangal arrives to greet a few other Kangals, the other Kangals, for some reason, gang up on the newcomer and attack him. And one of the attackers has a spiked collar which is extremely dangerous for the other dogs. I don't understand why the owners put that collar on him. The dogs are eventually separated and slowly move in different directions. I'm not sure it's a great idea to have all these Kangals sharing living quarters because fights break out all the time. When one dog attacks another, the other dogs jump in and it turns into an all-out battle with all the dogs participating until they calm down and head somewhere else together. I guess they usually get along and sometimes, just like brothers, they get into scuffles. In this video, a Kangal is almost ripped apart by an angry bear. The bear chases the dog down a hill as he tries to get a piece of him, but the dog manages to move away just in time. The bear does not stop, but the video ends, so we do not see the outcome. In this video, a massive Kangal runs to a fence, dragging his owner along with him after spotting an alibi dog. Both dogs are massive, but that's not what caught my eye. Can anyone tell me what that huge collar around the Kangal's neck is? Here's a brave Kangal going head to head with a tiger. That's right, a tiger only. There is a fence between the two animals. I'm not sure the Kangal would last 30 seconds against this tiger in a fight. Even though the dog is massive, 
brave and can kill a wolf. A tiger is no wolf and would unquestionably destroy the Kongal. I have no clue what a Kongal is doing in the same enclosure with a bunch of tigers, but it looks like the big cats are friendly with him, and he even play fights with one of them. Actually, it's the dog that plays rough, while the tiger rolls on his back and enjoys the tickling session. Another Kongal gets into a scuffle with a big cat, but the feline seems quite young, so the dog takes full advantage of the situation, even though I think these two grew up together and are friends. A bear and a Kangal eat together in this video and they also hang out. The bear, which is not very big, seems to love trying to mount the dog, who doesn't seem to mind. The two animals are friends and live together and we can see them going for a walk in the forest with their owner. The alibi is another large and powerful breed and watch what happens when one comes running towards the Kongal. The Kongal, surprisingly enough, submits and lies down while the alibi dominates him. I'm sure you didn't expect that. Alibis and Kongals don't seem to like each other as we can see in this video when both dogs, separated by a fence, yell obscenities at each other. In this video, a few Kongals run into a wolf in the middle of the night and annihilate him. The dogs bite and try to rip the animal apart until they eventually kill it. Once the wolf is dead, a few of the dogs walk away, while one sticks around to make sure the wolf is dead. He keeps smelling the wolf, realizing he is definitely dead. Two owners bring their respective Kongals to meet each other, but the dogs have something else in mind. They want to rip each other apart. The owners hold on tight to their leashes, but one mishap, and the dogs could get into a deadly battle, into a... Two Kangals see a big black wolf in the distance and immediately start running for the wolf and attack him. The wolf is probably surprised by the attack, but the video is extremely blurry, so it's hard to tell what happens afterwards. A much smaller Rottweiler seems ready to take on a much larger Kangal in this video, but the dogs are both on leashes, which prevents them from going at each other as their respective owners pull them away from each other. They eventually calm down, but not for long. I don't get what the owners are trying to do. It's obvious that both dogs are dominant and want to establish their dominance, which can only mean one thing if they get too close to each other, a fight. This Dolgo Argentino attacks a Kongal, but their owner separates them just in time. He then lectures both dogs, the Dogo mostly, because he was the instigator of the fight. The Kongal looks young and is probably still a pup, whereas you can tell the Dogo is more experienced. Another Kongal puppy can be seen playing with a much smaller dog. The Dogo and the Kongal have calmed down and all is good on the dog front. When two Kangals locked up inside an enclosure are teased by the people and dogs outside the enclosure, they decide to go at each other, as if to entertain the crowd. But the short scuffle doesn't last very long, as both dogs disengage seconds later. I don't know if the man in this video is military, but he's equipped like one, and on top of that he has a powerful Kongal to accompany him. I guess he's patrolling the area, looking for wolves or intruders, or he just likes to carry a rifle for fun when he goes for walks with his dog. In this video is only nine months old and it is his first encounter with another dog. After spotting the dogs and a horse, he stops walking, stares, and thinks, after which he walks towards the dogs to smell them. At only nine months, he is already a beast, but when the horse turns around to look at him, he is startled and moves away. The dogs hang out and get along, but this may change in the future when the Kongal reaches maturity. The Kongal in this video is enjoying a playful fight with another dog, but he is still trying to dominate the other dog, even though it's in a peaceful and playful manner. The dogs have fun like a bunch of kids at recess, which is exactly what their owners want them to do. The Kongals in this video are out to play in the snow and they are having a blast as one of the dogs tries to nibble on another one. These dogs are beasts, and with three of them to guard the household, I'm sure the owner feels safe. After purchasing these Kongals, the owner of this farm feels safe 
and guarantees that wild animals in the area will no longer approach to feed on his livestock. The dogs are still young, but in a few months they will become ruthless defenders of their home. The Kongal is commonly used to protect against wolves, bears, and jackals due to its frightening size and qualities as an excellent guardian. While all these breeds are quite strong, the Kangal has the strongest bite in the world. The Kongal is not as heavy as some other Mastiff breeds, allowing it to run faster and more agilely than larger dogs, as seen in this video of him chasing his buddy in the open field. These dogs may achieve speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. Once again, a young Kangal meets a Dogo Argentino as both owners hold on to their dogs. The Kangal is timid, but it's normal. He's much younger than the dominant Dogo. Looking at the scars on the Dogo's face, I'm guessing this dog gets into many fights and something tells me his owner doesn't mind, which is awful, but I could be wrong. This is just a wild guess. Two Kangals come running towards the camera, hopping and bopping as they continue to have a blast when they meet up with a common friend. A Rottweiler sneaks up on his Kangal friend to play fight, but when the Kangal tries to retaliate, the Rottweiler moves away slightly and hides behind a bush. Of course, this is all in good fun as the dogs challenge each other in a playful manner, which is healthy and necessary so they can develop good social skills. Watch how these Kangals attack a large wolf without a problem. It's two against one, but the wolf is big. The dogs go for the wolf's neck and bite into it. We don't see the outcome of the fight, but I'm putting my money on the Kangals in this one. The Kangal in this video clashes with an Akbash. In general, the Akbash is a protective, attentive dog who takes his responsibility to guard his family and flock very seriously. He is cautious of people and canines he does not know. He can become hostile toward people and animals he is unfamiliar with. This explains the conflict between these two, but the Kangal is certainly not backing down. Then again, why are these two dogs tied so close to each other? It makes no sense. In this video, a pit bull takes a beating from a Kangal after crossing paths with the massive dog on the sidewalk. I don't understand why the owner of the Kangal doesn't try to pull his dog away, but I guess some people like to watch their dogs fight, especially when they own a Kangal. A young Kangal takes on a husky in this video, but I think this is more of a play fight than a real one. The husky isn't intimidated one bit and jumps at the Kongal, hopping over him at one point. It's all fun and games for these two dogs, as they mess with each other in the backyard. Aslan, the Kongal in this video, knocked Doyle, an American bulldog, over with a chest bump while playing. Aslan has done this before, but this time his owner was able to record him. The owner was unaware that chest knocking over other dogs is the Kongal's characteristic attack tactic. He believes dogs have an incredible ability to practice their skills while playing, and I tend to agree with him. On a stormy winter day, a Kangal looks at his friend spending time in an enclosure, and then we see a bunch of Kangals getting into a scuffle until their owners split them up. The crows are enjoying a meal on the ground until a huge Kangal arrives and tries to get a piece to eat. The crows keep coming back, as long as the dog isn't there to bother them. It's a fun day in the snow for all the dogs and birds. In this video, a Dogo and a Kongal spend some time out in the field. They stay really close to each other, and at some point, we can see the Kongal trying to dominate the Dogo, but no fight breaks out. These dogs are friends, so it's all good. The Kangals in this video do not seem to appreciate the presence of a few horses, or perhaps donkeys. However, after the owner leaves with his horse, the dogs get into a scuffle. It's like one street gang fighting another street gang. There are a lot of dogs on this property, so I'm guessing it must cost a fortune to feed them. A Kongal tries to befriend a sheep and her lamb, but when the dog gets too close, mom charges at the dog and he isn't happy. 
The dog is tied, and the irony of this video is that the dog is actually there to protect the sheep from intruders, and it's the sheep that's attacking the dog. The only reason the sheep is behaving this way is because of the little lamb. It feels the dog is a threat and doesn't want him anywhere near her young. The Kangal in this video reminds me of a cat in the way he slowly approaches the cow and suddenly runs at it. When the cow lowers its head, though, the dog avoids it and runs right by it. When the dogs in this video try to mess around with a few cows, they find out that the cows are no pushovers, as one of them charges into the dog to keep him away. The dogs on this farm are all big and strong, fighting for the leadership of the pack. This is why there are so many fights between the Kongals. When there are so many of them, one must take control and be their leader. To do this, he must fight the challengers until all the dogs submit to their king. In our thumbnail, we can see a Kangal taking on a wolf, and by the look on the wolf's face, he is not happy. The Kangal is actually bigger than the wolf, so this fight is up for grabs. These were all amazing, but my favorite was when that sheep charged the dog and didn't think twice about it. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Thanks for watching and see you next time.